Let's begin with our chief meteorologist, Jeff Baradelli, and Max Deventer 8's Rebecca Berry. They have the very latest for us. Yeah, I have to tell you, there's some good news. It's still not a tropical depression or a tropical storm. And now the National Hurricane Center is saying it's probably not going to become one until it surpasses Florida and moves into the Atlantic Ocean. So, you know, the strong wind shear in the atmosphere has really done a number on this system, not allowing it to get organized. We've been talking about that wind shear for days, and it really has inhibited the system. And now you can actually see some drier air kind of punching in behind it, although there's still some heavy rain across parts of the Bay Area right now, especially across South Florida. So there's a, a wide view of the satellite and radar. Look at all that moisture streaming north. So the southern half of the state's going to see several inches of rain in parts of the Bay Area, especially as you go further south towards places like Northport and uh, southern parts, Hardy, DeSoto, and Highlands County. That's where you'll see the most rain, a couple to a few inches of rain. North of that, not quite as much. So this is the latest. Winds right now, 40 miles an hour. It's beginning to move faster. It was moving at 7. Now it's 12 to the northeast. Uh, in that direction. So it's going to be making landfall around Naples. And instead of it happening early in the afternoon, like the National Hurricane Center was saying last advisory, now they're saying it's likely to make landfall early in the morning at 8 a.m. But even at 8 a.m., most of the rain will be moving off the east coast of Florida because the rain is definitely separate from the center of circulation, indicating it's not a very organized system. And there is the wind shear pushing all these thunderstorms well to the east of what is the center of circulation, although to be honest, there are several centers of circulation because it's so disorganized. So tropical advisories right now, we still have tropical storm watches in effect, basically south of the Bay Area and flood watches in effect. That does include Manatee County, south and east, and also Polk County as well. Looking at the radar, plenty of heavy rain to our south and over extreme southern portions of our viewing area. The heaviest rain is around the Fort Myers area. With more on the local impacts that we expect as we head into the weekend, here's meteorologist Rebecca Berry. And this is a look at the rainfall that we'll see from this point forward. And so what we're looking at is it's really going to be a southern and inland concentration of the heavier rainfall totals. We're just going to get lighter rainfall totals across Pinellas and Hillsboro. Polk County will have some hot spots, but it's really down in Highlands and DeSoto and southern Sarasota County that will have the potential for a little bit of flooding. Now, moving further to the south, this is where we'll see the most rain from this point forward. There are, they've already seen closer to five to six inches right along the Gulf Coast there well to the south of us. It's this pink zone that gets the heaviest rain and any wind gusts that we'll see, and that's well to the south of us. It starts in Fort Myers and goes down to the Keys. The red zone is where we have the isolated potential for a tornado and the possibility of some flooding rains, and there's only a sliver of Sarasota County in the red zone and a little bit of DeSoto and southern Highlands County in that red zone. Once you work up to the orange zone, it's not as bad. It's a rainy night, a couple of downpours, pockets of flooding are possible, but they would be very flood prone areas. And then once you get into the green zone, which is Pinellas and Hillsboro and most of Polk County, passing breezy showers tonight and into tomorrow morning, and not much along the nature coast at all. We'll take a look at how the weekend takes.